Hello guys, this is JoeGE.com. Today I'll be showing you guys how to replace a screen on a Series 741. Here are the tools that you'll need. You'll need a 0.7Y screwdriver, a metal pry tool, a plastic spudger, and some glue, as well as some, so, some sort of clamp or rubber band. Rubber band would work perfectly fine just to clamp the screen down so that the glue could heal, uh, adhere. Uh, some other stuff that you'll need will be like some type of heat as well to go across the screen so the adhesive can come off easier and a little bit of alcohol and this will be this all this will be included in the toolkit right here so let's get started with this repair first off you're going to grab the heat gun and go across the screen just like this you're going to grab your metal pry tool dip it in a little bit of alcohol and kind of put it in there and go side to side motion just like that and do it to all four sides once you did it to all four sides you can just start lifting it up just like this just kind of pry it up once you got the screen up you can grab it just like this and kind of pull up be very gentle and put this finger right here right here and then just kind of slowly take it off this is pretty important because you could damage this or you could rip it off and then your whole motherboard needs to get replaced for that next we're going to lift up these ribbons and the last thing, we're just going to pull it back just like this. There we have it. We removed the screen. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab some alcohol with a Q-tip and just kind of take off all the residue, old residue from this screen. Oh, hey Joe. What are you doing in there? Trying to fix my headphones to save some money. That sure is a strange way to save money. Why don't you try switching to our channel partner, Mint Mobile, instead? They have the largest 5G network in the nation. Is that the Breathless Company? No, I mean, it's not minty fresh like that, but they can save you a bunch of money. Their plans start at just $15 a month. How much do you pay? $80. Dude, that's insane. It only takes like 15 minutes to switch over. You could save so much money. You could get yourself a new office. You could fix your headphones up right. Sounds good. I'm going to switch right now. You switch, switch too. Check out the link in our description. All right. We'll check it out, Joe. Have a good one. All right. Once you've cleaned off all of that old residue as best as you can, All right, once you are done cleaning all the spots where the screen sits, you're just gonna bend these uh, black tape, bend this black tape kind of back just like this. So the screen con connectors are kind of free and they could go in easily. You're gonna grab your new screen, make sure these, uh, these connectors are open just like this. And then you're gonna place these ribbons where they go and then you're just gonna kind of grab the spudger and then just slide it in just like this put these back down so it holds in place put this black tape back on just like that and kind of slowly place everything back together just like that just double check that the screen actually works so we're just gonna try to turn it on there we go after you tested that the screen actually turns on you're gonna grab your glue and let's just quickly test the touch as you can see the touch works perfectly fine all right, well, now we see that the screen works properly. Now we're going to go ahead and place some glue all around right here where the screen kind of sits. All right, once you have placed all the glue 
where it's supposed to be. You're gonna kind of align the screen and just push it down. Make sure it's sitting all good. Then you're gonna grab, you could grab a paper towel or something and then just wipe all the extra glue residue off the unit, just like this. Make sure it's as flush as you can see. It's sitting pretty flush. Then we're just gonna grab our clamp or you could just use rubber bands or some way to keep the screen to have some pressure on it so the glue can heal and the screen so it stays on. All right, and there we go. That is how you replace the screen with this toolkit. And thank you for watching and have a great day. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you guys love what we do, please support us. You guys can click on the links that we have on the end screen. You guys can buy our parts, sales, or service so we can continue to make great videos for you guys for many more years. Thank you.